had been interested in archaeology earlier on. I had wonderful courses in college, which was the reason for my excitement about the subject. And then I had the experience of working on an excavation, living in a village um, in a small rural part of Turkey, and I found it a fantastic experience. The work in the field, it, the actual uncovering of ancient material, ancient settlements or burials or other kinds of human activity. That's one stage, and that's, of course, a very important stage, the initial acquisition of material. How do we reconstruct ancient societies or ancient states or ancient civilizations? We, we need the raw materials, but then what do we do with that material? How do we go about analyzing it and putting together a bigger picture of this site? How does it fit in a bigger context, be that regional or or a larger unit that we're thinking about. Recontextualizing, we could really call it recontextualizing, putting it into uh, a context of what we know now. At the undergraduate level, I think a lot of, uh, of really quite sophisticated uh, research is possible. Um, there are collections of material to be studied with our good relations with cultural institutions in the Chicago area to, um, to have access to collections where students could work on material. In some cases it will have been previously studied by scholars, in some cases it will have been studied in a very rudimentary way. People have only been working in the ancient Near East for 150 years. That's not very long. And so there is a lot of material out there that students can study and put together in new ways or think about in the light of issues and problems that earlier generations didn't think about. Um, for, for example, gender studies. Um, we didn't used to think so much about uh, were there gendered associations of objects in particular societies in the ancient world. Um, and there are. So there, there are opportunities to do even, I think, original research at the undergraduate level. But it all starts by learning those established techniques of observation and recording and we have to find out what it is we have before we can really do something more with it. Mm -hmm.